Hello my friends, welcome back to another StarCraft Brood War Remastered cast with our mystery Protoss here quickly spawning in the bottom right hand corner. He's going up against Rush, who is sitting on his barcode. This barcode's funny, it, it has a little bit of context behind it. This is very, very similar to a barcode that Flash used when he came back um, for a short time to the ladder. You can find some of the videos of that on my channel. Um, I don't know if he's ever going to come back fully to play in tournament play, but uh, when he came back and he was just barcode on the ladder, this was his barcode. Very similar to this. I think it was maybe like O's instead of zeros or zeros instead of O's. I'm not sure, but uh, funny to see that Rush is playing on this barcode. Anyway, that aside... We've got Quickly here. He's going to be putting a pylon on low ground, probably for a bit of Zealot pressure here. And I think we're going to have a gas steal. It is a two-player map. Blitz Y. I'm going to come in here, do a little damage to this SCV. And we should be seeing the gas steal here in a second. Really, no reason not to go for a gas steal here when you're going to be putting on Zealot pressure. You might as well just take the gas. It looks like he's... I'm gonna grab that now, making sure that he has probes on the way and everything. Uh, the gateway is started before he gets that. Did leave an opportunity there for uh, Rush to like cancel an SCV and quickly grab that gas though, but he decides not to. Not gonna hit, hick up his economy here at all. Instead, he's just going to uh, have to hold this Zealot, try to take a gasless fast expand. It is what it is. Let's see how Rush handles this quickly is a Protoss Dark Horse, guys. He is a guy who we've been watching uh, a little bit more recently. He uh, has been putting out some great games. If you want to check out some of the games, maybe I'll link you guys here. Um, he's been playing mostly against, uh, against Zerg and putting out some really, really strong games. I think he took a win off of Hero, if I remember correctly. He's taken some wins off of some really, really top tier pros. So I'm getting kind of excited about this guy as a player, and we'll see what he can do here against Rush. Rush, consummate, professional. As I always say, this guy, really, really strong. And uh, not going to be hindered by just a straight-up gas deal. It's not going to be a problem for him. Nice job getting down the eBay. Did lose his SCV, unfortunately, but it is what it is. He manages to block here for a little bit he's got three marines out he kills the gas he should be able to start that here in a moment he's actually not going to go for gas as fast expand he's going to get the gas then he's going to start the command center so it's just going to be a little bit of a late gas here uh with a slightly earlier cc uh, than we might usually see so he's going to drop that and he's got the bunker down here at the front taking no damage to this early zealot but the zealot hasn't really taken any damage either it's at pretty much full HP here, and a second Zealot will arrive in a moment. We don't have a third Zealot, though, so I doubt that we're going to see a run by here. I think he's just going to keep the Zealots out in the front. Um, see if there's, like, a Marine push or something, whatever's coming out from here. Maybe, like, a SCV pull or something. Nothing crazy. Uh, making sure that nothing crazy is going to come out. And a Dragoon will follow this. Uh, plus, maybe another gate, or are we going to see immediate tech into Robo? I think he's getting prepared for that. Another gateway. Okay, so second gateway. That's going to be scouted here, unfortunately, by Rush. Rush ran around that SCV. He managed to sneak it out past the Zealots. So everything's kind of been revealed here. Two gateways and a Robo. Sees no spinning core either, so... You know, he's got basically full information here. He can't really do anything about it, uh, except for just continue along his build and know that he's not going to be hit by, you know, DTs or anything like that, uh, <clears throat> at least this early on. There's no way you can get all of this out and get DT as well. So he doesn't need, like, for example, a turret right here. Um, he knows the timing on the reaver, on the, the, the robo, so he knows when a reaver can be out, so he can get the turrets at the correct time. Uh, this is all great information for Rush, and it's putting quickly in a bit of a tough spot here, because you would like to have your build kind of hidden from the Terran player, like later when there's uh, comsats and everything. 
then you won't really be able to hide too much from him unless he's just not scanning you but right now you'd like for him to be worried about dt or reaver or whatever is might be coming at him you don't want him to know exactly what your build is and just optimize perfectly against it so uh this might be a hard thing for quickly to play out of this might be a hard position for him to play out of now he is going to get his reaver online he's got the two zealots that he saved from the beginning of the game that are going to be loaded up into that reaver and we'll see what quickly can do with this reaver because the bar has been set very very high by a lot of our pros snow in particular but bisu and best have really been catching up in their reaver micro they've been improving and uh raising the bar higher and higher on what we expect from a professional brood war player when it comes to reaver control professional protoss player um those words do not come easy to me but professional he is let's see if he can lose or get some damage onto this dragoon it's a very quick pullback from quickly so not going to take any damage but the vulture will slip out hopefully he's got something in the wall here when that vulture makes its way all the way around otherwise he might be in a little bit of pain here i'm surprised we're gonna take this base really looks like quickly wants to take this one on high ground it's so easy to push across here and set up tanks and be really really strong in this position oh my god we're just gonna run right by uh dragoon went down um quickly taking a fight and the vulture's gonna run in this is not looking good for him reaver is here so i don't think that this is gonna go well for rush however this vulture is gonna get so much damage done oh oh pretty good shot there um vulture is actually not killing anything that's crazy to me he didn't put it into the mineral line so actually we might have a bit of a problem here R rush does not have siege mode he just started it in fact and the reaver's gonna drop right in the front here okay that vulture did get killed i think yeah it got killed and it hardly got any damage at all back at home the reaver's doing a ton here in the front and this tank is so low two hp on that right now he's got to take a shot okay he kills one of the tanks gonna fly into the main now all the dragoons are dead but this is a pretty decent amount of damage here he could get even more there's that reaver taking another big shot there really really good uh economic harassment to follow up this big attack oh he gets the tank as well that is huge and he can get rid of the rest of the units here and there's not really too much rush can do about this now um aside from just run his scvs away there's the next tank pops out very very good hot pickup there from quickly he can still land the the reaver back here if he wants to and he will dodge oh he almost picked up in time another great hit there on another big batch of scvs and this is getting to be a little bit too much damage he will back out at the perfect time right before the goliath spawns here that was i mean that was crazy that could have gone a lot worse that really could have gone a lot worse for quickly um it also could have gone better oh my god oh my that's so much damage now that is so much damage now we're at 35 scvs here and he's gonna take another shot at this tank oh another great hit um no scv kills but still one more shot on that will kill the tank he's chasing he's chasing he's chasing can he get another shot off oh i think he's now committed the reaver all the way into the back here he can't get it out yeah he will lose that all right so that's gone but like the vulture in the main dude that vulture really could have done a lot of damage but it made a huge error or he made a huge error there by just like clicking it to here or something he was like attacking the the nexus maybe i can't remember what he was actually attacking but i was watching the kill count and it just wasn't going up at all it was crazy to see him uh, make that big of an error with such an opportune run by with the vulture gonna get a couple of kills over here with this vulture but more reavers are now in the main base as well oh my god oh oh everything goes down all those buildings fall and he is so supply blocked here wow did he dodge both those hits no i think he he at least ate one hit oh get that get that oh oh gg 
Wow, Rush is gonna tap out after losing that tank? Ooh, that is painful. I've got a game two here, but this is not a good way to start. Quickly just tearing him apart. Let's let's jump back here to that attack and, and just pull it apart a little bit more. Because that a lot of chaos was happening during that. Um It was like it was pretty big error here for quickly to send all of his dragoons and not have anything in the wall right here. And Rush does manage to um take advantage of that. Oh hold on, let's just see what happened with the, the first move out here. I don't wanna miss that as well. Let's see. We got like a probing attack here. This is a pretty common attack, the three tank, four marine push. Uh, so quickly, it was just not quite paying attention. He's got his dragoons in a really awkward position here. You'd like to have them all sitting right along in a line here. And then pull. you can just pull back immediately, but they're too far over to this left corner. And they end up just getting gunned down, or one of them does immediately. Is the second one going to fall? No. So here's the vulture heading into the main base. And look what it does here. We've already seen this fight up here. But look at the... The Vulture gets one kill. And now it just attacks the robotic support bay. That is so sad. That's like... Lis listen to all the attacks there. That's like three, four, five kills that could have been had. He drops a mine back here. Is he going to get trapped by the probes? Another probe kill. Uh, Okay, he gets another one. Was that three, four... We have fifth. Gets five probe kills. Okay, it was still pretty good. That was still pretty decent. But could have gotten some more damage there. A little bit uh, of a heartbreaker for Rush, honestly. Getting pulled apart by the Reaver here and just not having siege mode in time to deal with this push. And the bunker bust very well played by Quickly. We're going to jump into game number two. Hey guys, Neon Marble Rust is back with a new visual update and gameplay changes. If you haven't seen it before, this is a brand new RTS made by fans of Brood War and this channel. They are looking to recreate the old school RTS feel with an interesting twist. You will manage a complicated economy with many different resources using automation and upgrades as you bring together a strategy to overwhelm your opponent. The game is completely free to play, and my link to their stream page is in the description of the video. Thank you to everyone who supports me by downloading the game, and thank you to Neon Marble Rust for helping to keep the dream alive. Now back to the video. Well, Rush just couldn't wait to tap out after that four Supply Depot kill ruined his build. That was rough, man. Killing four Supply Depots when you're already that far behind. I mean, the amount of time you're not going to be building SCVs or tanks or anything is going to be just ridiculous. So I understand why Rush wanted to get out of that game as quickly as possible. Start a fresh one, and here we are, once again versus quickly, this time on Apocalypse. And we'll see what um, Rush decides to go for after that kind of embarrassing loss there. He really did get ripped apart um, by a pretty simple Reaver timing, which, I mean, he knew it was coming, right? Let's be honest. He saw everything inside of Quickly's base. And quickly just went across the map with, you know, four goons and a reaver and tore Rush to pieces. The second, the, the follow-up double reaver was really good as well. <clears throat> Seemed like Rush was not expecting that. He was not ready for that. That uh, quickly was just going to make four reavers or, or three reavers right off the bat. Um, but there it is. <clears throat> quickly now in the lead. And going to start Nexus first here uh, against a gas opener from Rush. So, this is already feeling pretty good for Quickly. However, we'll have to see. Does he double gate? Um, does he just single gate gas? Uh, when does Rush scout this? How many Marines does he build? Uh, we have to see all of these things. Uh, because it'll kind of key into whether Rush can... 
pull the trigger on a big SCV pull that can actually kill this, this bad boy right here, the Nexus. If you could just rush this bunker, rush it. Double gate. Okay, so double gate is pretty darn safe to go for. This is like the this is the safety play uh, for Protoss after the Nexus first. Uh, if you're just gonna single the gate gas after Nexus, you're asking to get bunker rushed. Honestly, you could still bunker rush this, but it's just harder. Um, another thing that Protoss can do is if they uh, get the probe in and scout. What is he doing right now with the probe? I think he saw the SCV and he's trying to cut it off. Yeah, he's just going after the SCV here. This is interesting. Let's see if he can actually body block this. Oh, he's going to get the moving shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going pretty well. Oh, he's not actually hitting it. Okay, there he's hitting it now. Um, Nexus first is spotted. So uh, the purpose of shutting this down has kind of been lost here. And he will just give up on that now. We'll make double zealot. What I was going to say is that you can build two gateways. And if you've got the probe over here scouting and you can see that he's not going to be bunker rushing you, you can just not build the second zealot. <laughs> you can just skimp on one zealot and it doesn't speed up your gas at all, but you can speed up a different building or you can get, you know, double good a little bit faster. Um, maybe a third gateway or something. I don't know. I'm not a Protoss um specialist or anything like that we've got the vulture out here already and the zealot is just going across the map for some scouting we will have a dragoon out here in just a moment there it is he's gonna have to body block here oh for this vulture Ooh, the vulture could get some big damage ah nice dodge here really good dodge with by quickly and he moves around the left hand side if he had chased this way you can bet that Rush would have run by into the main base, but he doesn't. He makes sure to be safe, keeps the uh, Vulture out of his base. And this is a really good defense, honestly, by quickly. He handled that about as perfectly as you could ever hope. Um, very, very good professional play out of him. I'm really, I'm really loving quickly, man. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this player. I think we could use another Protoss Bonjois, like... Or not a Bonjois, but just a, a really good Protoss player. Um, you know, we've got Bess, we've got Snow, we've got Mini. But there's room for more. There's definitely room for more. <clears throat> Someone who can push the limits of Protoss. Now, coming around the side here with the Vultures. It's going to be completely blocked by Quickly. That's a really good move here. Oh, he went speed first, but the wall is complete. Gonna go after the Zealot, but this is not gonna happen. That's really, really rough for Rush, dude. He really needed to get some damage here. Oh, can he get past this one, though? Ah, quickly didn't fill it up. Okay, quickly blocks the second Vulture from getting by. But this first Vulture is gonna get some element of damage here. He gets, like, two probes, I guess. Three... Uh, it's blocked behind the mineral line, so you can't get out. Four probes total. I mean, it was a really good block by Quickly up until that last moment. He just needed to shuffle this, the Dragoon just one hex over, and he would have blocked that completely. But not bad. I mean, really not bad at all. And the subsequent handling was very, very good. He keeps the Dragoons in the wall, and he clears it up without too much trouble. He's going to get into a uh, Observer here right away. But uh, Vultures are continuing to harass and chase onto these Dragoons. But great, great micro here. And oh, the Vultures are getting caught on each other. Really fantastic control here by Quickly. He's going to try to do the micro trick. Looks like he gives up on it. Just wait for the Observer. No need to get fancy here. We've got the third Nexus on the way. This is generally how you'll play um, Protoss from Nexus first. Is You just want to get as many a, a bunch of Dragoons out quickly. Have your Observer, and you're just going to have more units than the Terran player. So you should be able to bully them. Um, any push that comes out or whatever will just get smashed. However, uh, a lot of players have been... Well, not a lot, but mostly Sharp has been getting uh, the leg up on Nexus first by building a super quick third CC and just laying mines everywhere because the Observer is late. 
right? It's pretty darn late coming across the map. And if you can get that third CC out really fast and then just start adding on factories and, and getting into a huge macro lead, suddenly this Nexus first with the quick third Nexus doesn't look that strong because you're even on um, bases to the Terran player and you haven't been able to put on any pressure at all. So uh, we're not going to see that here out of Rush. He's playing more of a traditional style. He's just trying to get damage onto the, the Protoss player as much as he can. Um, but with three Nexuses, this does not do a lot. You're only killing like four probes, five probes total with all of these run buys. Six probes, maybe. I think it's another one. That's not bad. It's a good damage, but you can see we're pumping out probes like crazy. Triple probe production is pretty good, pretty strong. Wow, okay. A vulture can definitely slip through there. You gotta fix that quickly. Um, looks like he didn't even notice. <laughs> His own dragoon walked around that. That's kind of funny. More factories coming up here. It's going to be some sort of five fact push. We've got some Goliaths out ready to fight this shuttle. Uh, once it pops, a Reaver's already out. There's the scan. He sees everything. And the Dragoons are moving across the map. I'm going to get into a good position here on the high ground waiting for this push. Which should likely be coming here shortly. I think that maybe an observer went down in the main. Oh my god, he's going to take a fourth base right now? Um, I don't think we're going to see another base here from Rush. He's just going to go, man. I think we need more gateways. Okay, more gateways are coming. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's building a lot more gates. But is it too late? The factories are done already for the most part. We've only got one more factory coming up. Turrets are coming up here. Just making himself safe in the main so he can bring everything with him uh, out into the front line. We've got what? Six tanks here. Six tanks. Okay, he picks off the observer. That's good. Two uh, factories pumping tanks. But the reaver is here. Very important that he clears this reaver. Um, how he clears this reaver will determine the rest of the game, I feel. Oh, boy. Oh. Good shot there. Takes a lot of damage on the shuttle, though. Tries to slip a vulture by. Not able to get out of the uh, the containment here of quickly. Quickly not backing up in time, though. Okay, good turn. Very nice turn. I don't know how he's getting that acceleration out of the shuttle. That thing is turning and running like crazy. I don't know if that's like a special command or something. Oh, he's going to walk into this mine. Ah, that sucks. That wasn't as big of a mine hit as I thought it was going to be, but that was pretty rough still. Oh, oh, this river gets two big hits off. That's not bad. But a lot of the dragoons do die. And the shuttle will be sent home. Maybe pick up another reaver here. It does have an... There is another reaver. And all the gateways are now online. He's going to sit on the top of this ramp now. This is a real problem with um, this map in particular. Is that you've got these two big ramps that you have to push up. Uh, in order to get a position over top of the, the Protoss. So here we go. Protoss going to fly forward. Drop some Zealots on top of this. He's got right in the middle of this. Great shot with that Reaver. Dealing a lot of damage to the tanks. And there's just not enough Vultures here at all to deal with all these Zealots. He's just going to dive right on top of this. Oh, that might. Oh, my God. That, that one Reaver shot was insane. That might be a thumbnail right there. Dude, that Reaver shot was crazy. Killed like five mines and a vulture and a tank, I think. That's wild. Great, great control out of Quickly. And he took this base. Dude, Quickly is insane. Quickly is getting such a big lead here right now, guys. Look at this. We just started the starport. The starport. And we've already got plus one and plus one armor is almost done now. So he is just so far behind. He's going to lose his... Uh, SCV here, it looks like. Trying to... Oh, he's trying to bait that. Yeah, there we go. He does get it. Um, another SCV was sent, though, immediately. And he loses the Reaver. Okay. So, Rush will get this. He will get this base. Um, but we're just in such a good spot here. Honestly, as quickly. It is crazy. What a great position we found ourselves in. 70 probes right now. 
He's got a plenty of gateway. Actually, we need more robotics here. Second robotics. He's just going to build tons and tons of shuttles. And he's got Storm on the way. Time to go to, like... I don't, I don't even know how many gateways you want here. He's actually got, I think, more factories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven factories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gateways. Yeah, this is... <laughs> This is kind of crazy how well quickly was able to hold that attack. Uh, considering how many factories there were. To, like the gateway to factory ratio was really not great for quickly. But he's going to clear out everything here in the top center now. And quickly going to start setting up a ton of gateways up here as well. Things are looking bleak. Bleak right now for this Terran player. But... Looking for any opportunity to come back. He's sending out the Goliaths to look for a shuttle. Maybe he can snipe. Instead, he finds goons. And they pick off one of his Goliaths. Lowering him to just that three count. Where he can't two-shot a shuttle any longer. Which is a little bit rough. I wonder, I wonder if we're going to see quickly just dive this. Is he just going to go for it? Try to break him on three bases? It is entirely possible. He could also go for the main. Oh, that's a lot of mines in there. No, he's going to go for the army here. Here we go. Zealots on top of everything. Oh, this is some great zealot bombing right now. That's so many zealots on top of this. The gateway units are flowing down. We have some storm here as well. Where's the storm? Ooh, the storm is insane as well. They're leaning up so many of these tanks. And the position has been busted open, but... There is still an opportunity here for Rush. Maybe he can hold this if he brings forward the rallies here. Vultures and uh, tanks to actually clear this. But this is just giving quickly such a lead. And if one of these mines triggers on a Zealot here, it's going to be lights out for all the SCVs in this mineral line. He just needs to go a little bit down. No, he's not going to. Going after the comm set. That's funny. Might have accidentally right-clicked that. I'm not sure. Does clean that up, but down to now 48 SCVs. And quickly can easily remake that army. No problem. Um, in fact, he's in the process of remaking it right now. My god. How many shuttles? That's insane. What is this? Seven shuttles? That's 14. 14 supply of shuttles. Is that even worth it at that point? That's so many shuttles. All right, we're going to come in. Drop some zealots. And here comes the storm. Ooh. Great storms here. Not quite getting the, the big chunk of SCVs he was looking for, but down to just 42. Still, oh yeah, 69. Hell yeah. 69 probes here for quickly. His economy is balling, and he's not even going to build another probe. Look at him. What a pimp. He's going to build 69 probes and just stay there for the rest of the game. That is sick. I guess we had another... Uh, drop here. It looks like we didn't get a storm off though Quickly just continuously bombing onto rush and he's just so far ahead. It's almost comical at this point It's gonna be so impossibly hard for Rush to come back uh, dragoons kind of Filtering in here. Oh, and he moves the dragoons because he uh, he used them all in a hotkey and now the vultures are gonna be able to slip out It's kind of nice Get some mines out and around. Try to, you know, cut off some reinforcements or whatever. Maybe try to run by or something. Uh, get a few probe kills, whatever. Ah, he ruined the perfect balance. The 69 probes. Well, that's a crime. And you shall be punished. By a massive drop into the main here. Poor man's recall into the main. Plenty of gateway army units just flowing in here. Reaver as well. Uh, in the mix to just help out with the damage and factories are starting to go down here um, I think this factory is about to get picked off it's so close a big wave once again dropping in on top of everything that's so many dragoons just being dropped directly on top of the tanks it's actually not the greatest trade but hey we'll take it we're like 80 supply ahead of the Terran player right now any trade is pretty much a good trade at this point um, as long as you're killing a few tanks here and there I think you're going to be fine with it Six more Dragoons going to be sent into the main. It's just not very efficient what we're doing here as quickly, but it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, just dropping six dragoons here in the back. Oh, a high Templar as well. Does it have energy? Yeah, it does, but it doesn't even cast its storm. That's funny. More gateways are spawning here in the top. Warping in, I guess, not spawning. And just more and more units coming out here. The shuttle count is still very, very high, although it's not as high as it once was. Still more than enough, I think, to do massive damage, to break open a position. Just three here, four. Yeah, that's that's really all you need. You don't need to go to uh, seven. There's no reason to have seven shuttles. Oh, great storm as it quickly starts to break through the front line. GG is called GG dot dot. Yeah, I hate to see it. Rush just getting smacked around by quickly. Who is this guy? And when are we going to see him try out for the ASL? Cannot wait for that. Um... Yeah, are we, are we seeing a rising star here, guys? Quickly really seems to have refined his play even further, and his reaction times are very fast. His macro is fantastic. His vulture defense is great. And playing from ahead like this, like his, his defense against the first push from Rush was just perfect. Let's just, let's go back a little bit and take another look at how he handles this five factory push no six factory push six factory push so this was this was a build designed to kill quickly right here right now rush does not want to play a long game he's got the early plus one he's just about to finish Plus one armor, or is he? I think this is a ways off. No, he just started it. Just a bug right there. Um, he moves out. He's not able to get the kill on the shuttle. It was really close, but not quite. He's not really taking a lot of damage um, from this Reaver. And he's building up. He just needs to keep building up here. And eventually overwhelm. Losing some vultures there. Kills the Reaver, but he loses all the Goliaths. And do we have like a hiccup in the, the production or something? Like what are we missing here? Because we keep pushing forward and this is a really key moment here. He killed a bunch of dragoons and the reaver. You have to push up a second ramp. Now you pushed up this ramp. You have to push up this ramp too. And it's a really key moment because Rush wants to get up here as quickly as possible. D not to allow quickly to reinforce this position and then make it hard for him a second time, right? He wants to win one fight and then move into position, but he goes a little bit too fast, I guess. He sees the number of dragoons. He's taking his time now. Um, yeah, just setting up all the tanks, spreading them out really, really good, and like getting prepared. Keep on rallying to this position, and then slowly take this over because it is again a ramp that's it's difficult to take. But he sieges up here just a little bit too late, and with too few vultures here as well, as you can see. We've got four Zealots and a Reaver. And this hold is just beautiful to watch. Look at the, the spread of Dragons here. He's got a perfect spread. He drops the Zealot, which takes a huge volley from the, uh, the tanks here. Like, almost all the tanks are getting targeted onto the Zealot that was dropped. Um, he drops the Reaver here off to the side. A lot of times you'll see the Protoss player drop the Reaver in the middle here. But he drops it off to the side and picks it up again. He only takes like a couple of hits or one hit from a tank. Gets a Reaver shot off and picks it up again. It's really hard to do in the heat of the moment. But he gets a great shot off. He's dragging so much of the splash damage onto these units. We just don't... I, I guess maybe the Vultures are caught behind. Yeah, they're trying to rally. They're caught behind the tank here. We really need these Vultures in the fight to just get rid of the Zealots. So that the tanks can target the Dragoons and... Reaver rather than the Zealot here in this fight. But he just walks over this. He made this look so easy, quickly did. And I mean, we're on the same, almost the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're on eight gateways versus six factories. I guess plus Robo, right? We've got Reavers as well and shuttles. So it's a pretty even fight. But yeah, he's taking a, th a fourth Nexus as well. You're supposed to be able to do something here as Terran. But quickly, he just makes it look easy, man. 
It makes it look like you should never push here. Like, 6 Factory is, is just like a, a new build or something. There's that big explosion. Yeah, he handles everything perfect. He just clears out everything. He's still got the Reaver as well. That was some great juggling on the Reaver during that fight. Keeping that alive throughout. Cleans that no problem. Straight up to 70 probes. Fourth base done. Yeah, there's almost no way to lose from here, honestly. It's so, so strong for the Protoss player. Uh, this position, of course. You can still make miracles happen if you manage to, you know, get to plus two, plus three. Uh, with, as the Terran on three bases, and then you get a big 200-200 army and try to push. It's it's possible, but it never even happened here for Rush. He just got broken over and over again, and the drops into the main were devastating. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a comment. Um, definitely helps me out. It helps other StarCraft fans to find the video as well. So I definitely appreciate all you guys leaving comments down below. I'm not reading comments as much as I used to. It's getting a little bit hard on my mental. So I figured I would just kind of ignore a lot of the comments and uh, try my best to just keep making the best content possible. So uh, I may not be reading and, and liking all of your guys' comments as much, but um, yeah, I do appreciate it. I, it. It definitely helps. It helps the channel. It helps people to find it. So, uh, you know, leave a comment for your fellow Brood Wharf brother. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.